1 Peter chapter 1, we're going to look at verse number 6. And this is where the title of the sermon comes from, is from this passage. The Bible reads in verse 6, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, ye love. In whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. And the Bible talks about the trial of your faith there in verse number 7, much more precious than of gold that perisheth. You know, people put a high price on gold. to be like, oh man, if you got a bar of gold, man, you're getting like, like a big old bag of gold or whatever, how, how much money that would be worth. And so a lot of people spend their time seeking after that gold and being like, man, if I had that, my life would be so much easier and I could have this and I could have that and I could have maids clean my house and I could eat whatever I want, I could do all this other stuff. And people just, just seek after that, after the things that really doesn't matter at all. And, and, and making your life just a little bit more comfortable in this lifetime, this lifetime is so short. And it's so meaningless, and it's so empty, because once people have that, here's the problem that they have, is they think that, oh man, all my problems are going to be solved. No, you just introduce a whole bunch more problems. Because it doesn't really provide happiness. It's, you're not going to be content if you, you know, you think that, well, if I make X amount of money, then I'll be happy, then everything will be great. No, it won't. Because you're just going to want more. Because you're going to realize that when you, when you attain whatever level you think is going to make you happy and you're not happy, you're going to think, well, then I, I must just need a little bit more then. Because you're seeking the wrong source for your joy. You're seeking the wrong source for your happiness to be content. You're not going to be content. You're not going to have that joy. You're not going to have that peace and comfort without the Holy Spirit. The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. That's where you're going to get your peace. That's where you're going to get your contentment. It has nothing to do with how much money you have. But the trial of your faith, the testing of your faith, your faith is much more precious than of that gold, though it be tried with fire. But you want your faith to be found unto praise and unto honor and unto glory when Jesus Christ comes back. We need to be mindful of these things every day, especially during the hard times, especially during those moments when uh, things don't seem to be going all well and it's just roses uh, every day of your life. Now, when you think about this, I was thinking about this, I get a little, um, no, I don't want to call it deep, it's not really deep, but, uh, and turn if you would to James chapter 1. You think about your life, your life ultimately boils down to a series of decisions that you make, right? Every day you wake up, you're making decisions. Some are really small and insignificant, right? Well, what am I gonna, what am I gonna eat for breakfast? What am I, you know, you, you make de you make decisions. How are you gonna spend your time? You're gonna go to work. You're gonna, you know, come home. You're gonna do these different chores. You, you know, everything that you do in life, it's a series of decisions. You're making, you're deciding all the time what you're going to do, what you're gonna say, and uh, you know, a lot of them are menial and seemingly relatively insignificant. But there's always moments. And I'm sure you could think back on various moments in your life that are more momentous, more monumental, very important decisions that are going to end up, that could potentially end up impacting the rest of your life. These are the times you want to make sure, especially, especially that your faith is strong, that you have that faith that you're, that you're going to be thinking about and making the decisions based on the things that you can't see. Because oftentimes you're making decisions, especially the big decisions, you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know the end of that, which is what makes it harder. Sometimes it's harder to make decisions. And you're thinking, man, what would happen? What would happen if I picked up and moved my family to Hearst, Texas? What would happen if I did that? You know, people who live far away. Well, what's, what's, what's going to happen? I don't know, man. Am I, I going to be able to work? What am I going to do? And, and you're thinking about these things. And it could change the course of your life forever. But you need to have faith knowing and analyzing your decision making and saying, is what I'm doing going to be in the will of God? Is what I'm doing matching up with what the Bible is telling me to do, what the Bible is instructing me? 
What God has said I should and should not be doing, if I'm following all these things, then I should be making my decisions along that path. And if it's going to help my spiritual walk with God, then it sounds to me like it's a right choice to make. Because that faith is way more precious than gold. It's way more precious than, than the physical things. And I'll tell you what, I, you know, I'd much rather be really strong in my spirit and in my faith and my walk with God than have a little bit of extra dollars in my pocket or my bank account. Who cares about that? I mean, really, who cares about that? 